Right now, a little girl is found safe, but her dad is still on the run after allegedly abducting the little girl. A Levi's call went out for one year old Bailey Sue Peoples. After police say the girl's dad took her from her mother's house in Jackson County, Bailey was found later in Gwinnett County, and that was this afternoon. CBS 46 is Ashley Thompson has been on this story all day. She joins us live from Jackson County. Ashley, you spoke to the family. That's right, Bailey's family is eagerly awaiting her arrival at this house right here. She should be back in the next hour or so after being gone since 2 a.m. This is a picture of Bailey Sue Peoples just into our newsroom. Bailey will be two years old next month. Her mother Tiffany was emotional when she learned her child was found safe after being the center of a Levi's call. Police say Bailey's father, Robert Joseph Peoples, abducted her around 2 a.m. We've learned Robert and Tiffany got into a fight and police say Robert took off with Bailey as Tiffany tried to get her out of a car seat. Robert has been on the run all day. Arcade police tell us around 1 this afternoon he dropped Bailey off in Gwinnett County County with a relative. Police believe Robert is driving a white GMC Vandura. He's been in trouble with the law before with multiple arrests. His prior charges include cruelty to children, disorderly conduct, and battery. Tiffany is just happy her little girl is safe. She saved me from the dark times that I was in. And then when she was born, like she brought love in my life. Then she's like keeps me going. Okay, so in the past couple seconds, actually, there's a lot of commotion in the house. We had a couple uh, look like sheriff's deputies pull up to this driveway right here. We did not see little Bailey, I don't believe, but we will go in there and double check in just a minute. Arcade police say once found, Robert will be charged uh, with aggravated assault because they say when he left with Bailey around two this morning, he actually hit Tiffany with the van. He's also facing kidnapping charges. Again, something just happened. We're going to go check it out and we'll report back to, uh, back to you. For now, I'm live in Jackson County, Ashley Thompson, CBS 46 News.